Hello friends, so today we can discuss the problem A from the latest code forces round 678 problem name reorder. So you are given an array consisting of n integers and an integer m and you have to find out whether it is possible to reorder the elements in A such that the given condition is old. So what is this given condition? If you do a summation from i equal to 1 to n and also a summation from j equal to i to n then you do the summation of all of these which is aj divided by j equals to m if this equal to m then whether this is equal to m then the answer is yes or no if you can reorder all the elements so now this question seems very difficult but if you just draw it out it seems very simple like you can come to the answer very intuitively so now first see what is this uh, first try to write down this expression in which my i goes from 1 till n and then for every i my j goes from like from this jth position to n so as you can see if my i is equal to 1 then my j goes from 1 till 2 then i equal to 2 so from 2 till n some 3 then i equal to 3 so 3 till n so it's just like it's just like a for loop uh, like nested for loop in which uh, if there are 1 2 3 elements 1 2 3 4 then my i go from 1 2 3 4 and then my j go from if my i is on this my j goes from this point to till end then if my point on i is on this my j go from this to end and so on so now if you do a summation of this number which is aj divided by j then what is the so answer then you can just like see out this example in which as you can see if you take the permutation of this is equal to 1 to 5 then as you can see uh, just divide it out by the numbers so because 1 divided by 1 2 divided by 2 5 divided by 3 so it's just the index of them so, okay so j means what is the index of them so okay then again if you do from the next point i equal to the starting one so these are the th three values then i equal to 2 so these are the value which is 2 divided by 2 and 5 divided by 3 so as you can see this is just the index then again when i equal to this so 5 divided by 3 so now what you can clearly observe here is the first element occurs only one time the second elements occur two times the third element occur three times so it means that the first element occur one time the second element as you can see is 2 divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2 then the third element is 5 divided by 3 into 3 times so it's like 2 divided by 2 into 2 times so whatever is the like numerator is equal to the, what is the denominator so they will cancel out as you can see in it in this also they will cancel out so what does this mean it's just remain remaining of the numbers only so you are only doing the summation of the numbers so if you're doing the summation of the numbers the order doesn't matter i can also do this with one more example if you just take this example 251 if you take this example 251 if you do another permutation which is like this uh, 5 1 2 okay so if you take the first element it is like this 5 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 3 then for the next i use the summation of 1 divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 3 then for the next element it is like 2 divided by 3 so as you can see the first element occurs only one time which is 5 divided by 1 then this occurs half or half it will become 1 only so it will 1 only and then 2, 2 divided by 3, 2, 2 divided by 3, 2 divided by 3 uh, occurs 3 times so it's only 2 only so it's actually the summation of these numbers only so my question is how can I permute this such that my total sum be equal equal to m so it's just simple that whatever permutation you choose it's actually the summation of all of these numbers only so whenever the summation of all of these numbers become equal to m the answer is yes or the answer is no as you can see in this the summation equal to 8 so the answer is yes until the summation is not equal to the m the answer is no i don't need to show the code for this because you just have to do the summation of all these numbers and just the like match it with this number and if it's true then the answer is yes as the answer is no i hope you get the intuition and the solution for this problem if you still have not question now i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye